Are you collecting subjective data from your athletes, but they don't fill it in all the time? Well, in this week's Power BI for Sports Science video, I'll show you how to hide blank data in your Power BI reports. So let's get started. If you're finding my videos for the first time, uh, make sure you hit like and subscribe below and also that notification button so you're notified of future videos. So as I said this week, we're going to talk through how we can look or uh, hide or uh, deal with missing data in Power BI reports. So as you can see here, I've got this wellness dashboard that we created a little while back. Um, and at the moment, when you look at this, it's all nice and clean because you've got a daily data from your athlete. But this isn't always the case when you're working with real life athletes. Say for example you have athlete 2 and they've gone through and they actually have a bunch of data missing through a period of time. How do you deal with that? Because here you can see the line kind of jumps up but if we zoom in this is the last point here that there was data and then it's just a straight line. So how do you deal with that and how do you hide that from showing up on your graphs because this looks a little bit messy. But then not only that, you've got a value for what they did on a given day. And as you can see here, these come up as messy looking blanks. How do you hide those and just put a zero or even just fill in that they didn't fill in their data that day? Well I'm going to show you how to do both things. So first we'll get started with our cards at the top here. So all you need to do for this, and this is relatively simple is we'll just create a new measure and let's say start with sleep quality and we'll go sleep oh let's just call this actually card underscore sleep quality and then all we're going to do is if is blank and we're going to find the uh, or we're just going to use a measure here for sleep quality so we need to pull that in so it's going to find the minimum value and if it's blank what we're going to do is let's say first we'll just put a zero and if not we will just use the value so let's just copy and paste this over here okay so easy as that and when it finishes turning we can add that card here and so now that you can see it's got zero what happens if we want to put in, um, say, no response, for example? Does that work? And it does. So as you can see, we can change or apply this to our data cards, or our cards at the top. So let's change the size of our text here to, say, 30. Let's go a little bit lower. So 24. So there you can see there, if we use that, now we can have on a given day the values. So if I go back to athlete one, we'll see that all our values come through. Athlete two, where there's missing data, it'll be blank. So what you can do is, you can just copy that. What I might do though, to make for simplicity, we can create a, a variable, uh, value equals, and we will paste in this and then let's just give our card equals and then we'll use our value so then when I copy and paste this over there's also only one thing for me to actually change and then return underscore card okay there we go And then now let's create some new measures for mood, etc. And we'll do this quickly, or as quick, quick as my computer will let me do it. Mood. And if we just go to the front, we can change that for mood. There you go, if we do that for muscle soreness and everything now, and then we'll change our measures in a second. And 
there we go, muscle soreness, change it in our column, and repeat last for energy. Now this is quite a simple and effective way of being able to show only the val values that matter and sort of just, I guess, cleaning up some of the the errors that you might see when there's no data showing for an athlete. So we've got all of that for our athletes now, or for our cards, I should say. So let's add them in here, muscle soreness, and then let's just select all of these and change our data label size. I think we went to 24, was it? Yep, okay. So there we go. So if we go back to athlete one, all our values should appear. Athlete two, we're hidden. Nice and easy. All right, there's a few other little formatting things we could do there, but for now, we'll just leave that. And then the next thing was down here in our sleep quality. So if we see here, we've got our line continues on because of our rolling average and then it just goes straight line down to the bottom. So we have a couple of options here. So the first one you can do, and this is probably the easiest thing, is we'll go into our shapes here in our formatting, and what we'll do is we will add the marker, but we will remove the line. So as you can see there, it will show a marker for where there is data. So there you've already cut out your missing values. That's nice and easy. But what you see here is now there's this, these lines or these dots, sorry, where there is actually data missing on your figure. And how do you deal with those? Well, uh, for that, what we can do is we can adjust our rolling average. So here, what we're gonna do is we will uh, create, let me just see what I'm trying to find here. Yeah, rolling average sleep. Uh, if the value is blank, so if, is blank, we're going to return a blank value, otherwise we'll give ourselves the value. So let's do that, let's see what happens. So let's see, so we've still got our standard deviation, so let's see if we apply the same thing here, will it give us the same outcome, so let's just copy these across to here and we'll see what happens by the looks of it this isn't affecting the dot either is it why is that do you think see we've still got it so what it is is that we've still got a rolling average appearing till here so what we need to do in our rolling average is we also need to see is there any data on that given day. So let's give ourselves a value. Oh, we need to not call it value. Let's call it um, uh, score equals if. And what we want to find is we'll just pull through actually just the minimum value for that day. So let's go min. And because we're looking at sleep quality here, let's just find sleep quality like that. So now what we're going to use here is if our score is blank, give me a blank. So let's go into, there we go. So as you can see, it's hidden the values from on our graph. So now we can see our average is a dot and our standard deviation range, but we don't have the data on the missing days. So the one thing, or the one change you can make here is obviously change the size of your dots if you want to. You can decrease them a little bit, or what you could do is, uh, let me just find further down, you can adjust by series. So if we're looking at our rolling average, uh, we can change the marker type we have for each thing. So let's say for that will make it a square and we will keep it quite big. But then say for our SDs, for example, we can make them a little bit smaller if we wanted to, and we could just keep them as a line. And I think a line is a good way of showing 
rather than having a big marker in place. So now if we zoom in again to our chart, we can see our square is where our average is, and then we've got our lines for our standard deviation, which is quite an effective way of showing that. So there you can see quite easily how removing some of the missing data can make it look a little bit cleaner on your figure, but then even when you have an athlete who has all their data, you can still see the uh, where their average is moving, but also where the standard deviation is sitting. Alright, so guys, if you've liked this video today, please make sure you hit like and subscribe below. And just to recap, uh, we've gone through and shown you how to hide missing data by replacing the value that um, you see. For our cards, we've recreated a, a card measure that will show a no response value for a given day. And then in our uh, figures at the bottom, we have removed uh, data on days where there is no, um, when there is no score, and we've used just the shape rather than the line to be able to show our average and standard deviation. So I look forward to seeing you guys next time where we'll continue to power performance through data. Thank you.